Hi, I'm in this little ensuite bathroom I've been asked to decorate and um, generally it's in pretty good condition. If the camera wants to quick, do a quick zoom round, you'll see what I mean. So it's quite a tidy little room really. However, there is one small problem if the camera likes to zoom in. You can see there's a hairline crack just above that window and these are pretty common in these sort of rooms where you get a little hairline crack appearing and the trouble is you can fill them in and then a couple of weeks later, ping, they appear again. So I'm going to show you the best way to deal with these hairline cracks to give a permanent repair. Okay, so to repair this hairline crack, I'm going to first of all be using this scraper to cut out the crack in a process we call undercutting. So what I'm going to do, if the camera wants to point around, is I'm going to put the scraper on the crack at an angle, I'm going to pull it down through the crack to open the crack out. So I'm tilting it to the right to start off with. Now I'm going to tilt it to the left and do the same thing, pulling it down through the crack. Like that. Now what that's going to do is that's going to form a wedge shape in the plaster, which is going to make it impossible for the, for the filler to come out of the wall. So that's what I've done. I'm just going to dust it off, get rid of the loose debris. Now that's ready for me to put the filler in. Right, I've got my filler here that I've already mixed up on the board here. And I'll be using this filling knife to apply the filler. This is a knife which, as you can see, is quite bendy. But it looks just like a scraper, which is solid. But I'll be using this because you can use it to force the filler into the hole. So if you can, you're better off using one of these filling knives. Right, so I'll be getting some filler onto the knife. by we'll pulling it across like that. And go up to the hole, the crack rather. And pull it back like that, pressing the filler into the crack. All the way down to there. And then get your filling knife, have it flat on the wall, and push and force it into the crack like that. Let's get rid of these little ridges on the side. Like that. Then all we've got to do now is to let that dry. And because it's not too big a crack, that'll probably take about half an hour to dry. Particularly as the sun's quite out this morning, which is pretty, pretty nice. So in about half an hour, I'll be giving that a light rub down with a, a medium abrasive, so it's ready for painting. Okay, so I think that filler's nice and dry now, that we applied earlier in that hairline crack. And to rub it down, I'm gonna be using this, this abrasive paper, and if you wanna have a look, you can see it's 240 grade aluminum oxide paper. So I fold it over twice, so you get a better grip on it when you're rubbing down. So, that's all ready for rubbing down now. But before I start, I need to put a mask on so I don't breathe any, in any of the dust. So I'm just gonna pop this on a second before I start rubbing it down. Okay, so here we go. Now that was pretty quick. Now just to dust it off with my dusting brush. Okay. So now that is all ready for painting. So what I'll be doing first is I'll be applying a thin coat of emulsion over the top so it soaks in and gets a good grip onto that filler before I put a thicker coat on top of that. And hopefully that's going to be a permanent repair now, now I've done that undercutting with the scraper. So hopefully all will be well.